Welcome Marcus Streets from the Linux Foundation. Hi, thank you. So I'm Mark Streets from the Linux Foundation. We all know what Linux is. It's been around 25 years. The foundation's been around about 20, and it supports Linux and many, many other open source platforms and projects. So around 2014, there was a problem. There was this bug, Heartbleed, the Uber bug. The bug that had the logo, the bug that had a name, the bug that came on the front page of the newspapers. And this was the bug that changed everything, because we got this cozy world of open source software. We were all sharing, we were all collaborating. This, what this showed us that was that for some of the key bits, some of the bits we all relied on, particularly in this case OpenSSL, was basically if one person living in their parents' bedroom and not making any money and not, doing, not being able to do the work that was needed to do to keep us all safe. So the Linux Foundation's reaction to that was to found the core infrastructure initiative to support these key bits of the plumbing. And we got some funding from these, these, these nice people who are behind me, and I'm not going to go through all, all the names because I haven't got time. And that gave us a fighting fund which we could support those key projects, put some money into them, make sure there are people doing the work. But there's no way, even with the funding we've got from these nice people, we can support every single open source project that needs work on security. There are just too many of them. We know how exactly, yeah, I mean, look on GitHub. You know how many projects are on GitHub? No, I don't. <laughs> so one of the things we wanted to do, we want to find ways to improve quality without throwing money at the problem, because money's limited and problems aren't. And we realized security is not one person's problem. It's not my problem as a security engineer. It's, it's everyone's problem. Everyone has to do what they can to improve quality and improve security. And certainly all of you, if you're putting your data up on the cloud, security is definitely your problem. Yes, you know, I know a lot of us think security is just the people that say no, but I mean, obviously, you're putting on data in the cloud. You don't want to be the next person that wakes up in the morning and discovers that your data is being leaked and there's the report in the news about how 5,000 people's usernames have gone missing. So what we did, we decided to develop a badge which we give to open source projects on GitHub. Anyone can apply for it. This is a badge that's not just for security products, it's for any open source project. And it looks at all the things we can do to make your code better, to try and get the code developed without bugs in. Because it's much, much easier, much cheaper if we develop without the bugs than if we have to come back and find and squash them later. So it's a large number of very basic things you can do to try and make your code better. And it includes all the sorts of things we talk, Liz was talking about earlier with the code review. We saw that, excellent stuff, the testing, all this wonderful stuff that, 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 that we're doing. We've had over 200 people apply for a badge. 40 projects so far have achieved 100% of all the uh, criteria that are set. And you can see some of them up there. And as you see, you know, they range from the Linux kernel to all these two new PG, which is security things, to LibreOffice, which is certainly you know, not a security project. It, let's say, it applies to every single sort of open source project. 39 of the people that have made a best practice badge found that there was something they had to do to improve in order to qualify for the badge. One didn't. And once I'm here, you can guess that one was OpenStack. So congratulations, to OpenStack. That means your security team Your security team were doing everything they needed to do. They got it right. So I'm going to invite them up on stage. And we'll have another round of applause while we bring the security team up on stage.
Yeah, okay. go ahead. Um, we're a few members of the OpenStack Security Project. I'll quickly introduce us. So this is Travis McPeak, he's a security core. Um, he's responsible, for, amongst other things, for driving projects like Bandit, which provide security analysis and, and static analysis for Python. Uh, we've got Tristan Kakari, who's a principal member of the vulnerability management team, who's responsible for receiving, triaging, and responsibly disclosing vulnerability information. And then on the end there, we've got uh, Nathan Kinder, who is uh, one of the main people responsible for driving OpenStack security notes out into the community. At the moment, we have around 80 bits of this information that's uh, ops-oriented security guidance. And if you're out there deploying OpenStack, then you really should be reading the security notes. My name's Rob Clark. Um, I'm the co-founder of the security project and the PTL for the last three or four years. Right. Now, I believe we have some, yes, my wonderful assistants and, <laughs> and except we're going to bring them out and we're going to present these people with their award as a mark of our Thank you. And while we just get our handshakes, I just want to say thank you. Security is everybody's problem. We can create guidance, we can create processes, we can push out as much documentation as we like, but without the engagement and the support of the community, there is no way we'd be getting this badge. So thank That's you to everybody here. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I forget. All right, thank you. And thank you, Marcus, as well, for, uh, for joining us.